Hello everyone, I am Karan Masru. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to discuss about the basics of stack data structure. So what is basically stack? So stack as the name suggests in day to day life, what we see, we see stack of books or stack of plates like it. So there are some books which are kept. Okay. Uh, let's say this is book one. This is book two. This is book three. This is book four. Okay. There are some plates which are kept uh, below is the plate one, then plate two, then plate three. Okay. So what we call this, we call this a stack of books. Okay. And in this usually, okay. Uh, usually if I want to place a new book, where will I keep it? I will keep it here. Also, if I want to place a, a book somewhere in between, then I lift the books which are above it and then place the book in between. Okay. So, uh, so it is this stack data structure is inspired from the real world stack which we use okay so in computer the stack is basically a data structure and it is a linear data structure okay also a uh, stack is open from one end it is open from one end okay so basically all the operations such as insertion of an element removal of an element accessing a element all these are done from one end only okay so basically we represent the stack like this usually this is the uh, notation of stack this is the close end this is the open end the open end where we insert or delete or access the element is called top of stack okay so for example if i tell you insert two in the stack okay so it will be inserted here now I tell you insert 3 in the stack. So 3 will be inserted here. Now I tell you insert 5 in the stack. So 5 will be inserted here. Are you getting my point? This is top of stack. Okay. This is top of stack. So whenever you insert a new element, it is uh, inserted on the top and this top of stack moves above. So a new element is always inserted on the top. We can access only one end of the stack. Okay and uh, there is only one position where we can insert delete or access the element so if i ask you to access the top element this two and three uh, we cannot access them uh, since there is five on top of it we can only access five okay so if i ask you to access the top element you will return me five if i ask you to delete one element or remove one element what will you do you will remove five okay so your remaining stack will become two and three now you can access three but still you cannot access two so basically what I'm trying to say is stack is a linear data structure which is open from one end and new element whichever is inserted in the stack it is inserted on the top of the stack. If I want to access an element only the top element can be accessed no other elements can be accessed and if I want to delete or remove an element from the stack that also only the top element can be removed okay so only the top of stack is accessible okay so that is about the uh, stack. Now uh, tell me one thing here uh, suppose i inserted 2 then i inserted 3 then i inserted 5 now i ask you to remove one element so which element will be removed you cannot access 2 and 3 so 5 will be removed right then if i ask you to remove one element which element will be removed 3 will be removed then i ask you to remove one element which will be removed 2 will be removed and my stack will become empty in insertion first 2 was inserted then 3 was inserted and then 5 was inserted while removal 5 was removed first then 3 was removed and then 2 was removed so this follows the principle of lifo lifo that is last in first out okay stack follows the which principle lifo lifo last in first out whichever element is inserted last will be removed first last in first out okay so this is the basic about the stack data structure now usually there are four main functions which can be operated on stack data structure one is push another is pop another is peak or uh, top you can see and another is is empty okay so these are some of the functions which you can work on this stack here you have to pass a parameter let's say x so what does push x means it means insert a new element x on the top of the stack okay so what does push stack means insert an element x now no need to specify where only it can be inserted on the top 
so uh, suppose initially my stack was empty and if i tell push 2 it means it will push 2 inside the stack then i say push 3 so it will push 3 inside the stack then i will say push 5 so it will push 5 above 3 inside the stack so push means basically insert an element on the top of the stack what does pop means pop function means remove the top element or delete the remove or delete top element okay so uh, when my stack was this if i call pop function on this stack it will remove the top element do i need to specify which element to remove no because only top element can be accessed here if i call a pop function it will remove three again if i call a pop function it will remove two okay then uh, what is another function a uh, pick or top so what does this do this does not remove the top element it just gives the value of the top element of the stack so if i call top function on this stack it will return me five it will not delete five pop will remove five top or peak function will just return me five okay uh, if i do top here it will return me two okay and what is is empty function is empty function will return true if the stack is empty okay so this will return true if stack is empty okay and it will return false otherwise if the stack is not empty what is the time complexity of each function pushing an element inside the stack that is just pushing an element on the top of the stack takes a constant time okay popping an element out of the top of the stack also takes constant time uh, accessing the top element of the stack also takes constant time and checking whether the stack is empty or not also takes constant amount of time so this is the basic about the stack data structure now let's uh, dry run a few example and see what exactly is happening okay so now let us consider an empty stack initially okay so an empty stack we have initially and let us perform this operation one by one and see at each step what the changes are being done and what will be the output so first of all push 10 push 10 does what inserts an element on the top of the stack with the value 10 now push 12 it will insert an element at the top of the stack with the value 12 then push 14 it will insert an element on the top of the stack with value 14 then push 8 it will insert an element on the top of the stack with value 8 now top top function will return the value of the top of the stack okay this is top of stack it will return the value pointed by this pointer so it will return me 8 okay so this will be my output but it will not remove it okay so this is done now pop pop will basically remove the top of the stack okay so my stack will be 10 12 and 14 okay then top again so now it will return 14 okay so now 14 will be returned uh, so this is also done now is empty so it will check whether the stack is empty or not okay so it will return me what false okay then push 20 so 20 will be pushed on the top of the stack and then top so it will return 20 okay so i will get 20 so doing these operations on an initially empty stack will return me these things okay now uh, what are the different uh, let's see what are the different applications of stack so now if we look at some of the applications of the stack so first is parsing expression so what does it mean so basically let's say if i have an expression 5 plus 2 uh, multiplied by 3 uh, subtracting 1 and then uh, multiplied by 10 uh, minus 12 etc okay so any of these kind of expression it is useful to parse with the help of a stack okay then uh, it is used for checking whether the parentheses are balanced or not so what do i mean by that suppose i have these parentheses okay so these are balanced why because inside this i can place a, a mathematical expression which will evaluate to true for example i can say uh, a plus b multiplied by c okay so this is okay but uh, this is not a balanced parenthesis right you cannot have one opening bracket before closing bracket then uh, this is also not balanced parenthesis okay so stack can be used to check whether if we are given a parenthesis a string of parenthesis then we, we can check and tell whether that parenthesis is balanced or not okay 
so this and these are done then third is useful for recursion now uh, uh, if you have learned recursion or whenever you will learn there is something called call stack okay so in in that basically uh, while calling recursions when our function calls a new function it itself saves its data on a stack okay so uh, that's uh, uh, so when it comes back it uh, already have that data of that function saved in the stack okay so when you will run recursion you will come to know it in more detail so it is very useful for recursion uh, then fourth is find next greater element for all the elements of the array so this is a standard question of stack where basically for each and every index you need to tell the next greater element okay so basically uh, for the ith index you need to tell the smallest index starting from i plus 1 to n minus 1 whose value is greater than uh, a of i okay so that is next greater element for index i greater element means its value is greater than a of i and next means it is uh, nearest to i okay so basically if i want to find next greater element for all the elements of the array in an efficient way then stack can be used okay because by brute force method it will uh, run in big of n square time using stack you can do it in big of n time okay so these are some of the applications and at the end etc okay there are many other applications so this was about the basics of stack i hope you have understood it and in the next video we will look at some examples of the stack